all right guys here we have a little project that we're doing next and we're using this right here so we could put a flagpole inside there and here's the flagpole that we're going to use right there then we're going to put one on this side and one on that side we want them straight up on each side and the first one is going to go right here in this section right here we have the first hole already marked we're going to open the holes there and and put that bracket in place here's the bracket that we're going to use that comes with it on the other side of this and uh, we're going to go ahead and put that bracket there so we have the flag going straight up from that pos position there so stay tuned for this little update video on a flagpole that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. That wasn't really that deep. All right, uh, once you open the, the hole, remember to always use a countersink so you can countersink the hole because if you don't, what happens is if you don't countersink, what happens when you put the screw in, you crack the edge of the gel coat, and that's not going to be good. So you need it to be nice and clean, and uh, and not having all that cracking out the edges of the screw. All right. So the next next thing we're going to do here, we already put in the first screw in with the mark in the position that we wanted it at with the height that we needed the uh, pole to be out for the flag. Now. We, what we did is we matched the same as this one here and they both look the same height there so what we're going to do is mark the other three holes one two and three let me make sure we got them all well all right so next what we're going to do is drill the other three holes and um, we're going to loosen this one up and just bring it down and make the other three holes and then bring it back up and put the, the, the new screws in there so stay tuned okay we loosen that bring the little plate down and we have the three marks right there for the next three holes so we'll do that next okay that's one best way always go slow that way you have no no way to make a mistake and you don't want to go all the way through because you do have wires and other stuff inside there so you don't want to go all the way in with this you just do it until you just get through a little bit um, what I'm gonna do is open the uh, the uh, counter sinks on all three of them and then we go to the next step all right, here we go with the counter sink just a little bit on each one and that's it all right if you do the three holes like we did earlier and the screw doesn't go in smoothly what we do is we drill it out a little bit more because you don't want that screw to get really tight halfway through and, and you could break off the head so what we're gonna do is make the holes slightly bigger so the screw will go in nice and easy but it has to be a little tight so you got to do it trial and error little by little until you get it just right okay so what I did here I tried all three screws make sure they're coming in smoothly without stopping um, that way you're not gonna have a problem once you put the silicone on in there to uh, seal the holes you don't want any water penetration into the uh, radar arch so that will be the next thing we'll take these out I'm gonna put the silicone in each hole so we could uh, waterproof this all right after we tried all the screws and everything is going in perfectly all the way in now we're gonna do this is what I use normally 4200 adhesive and uh, we're gonna go ahead and cover each hole with it into the hole and a little bit around the outside 
because this is going to act as a strength as well in case any anything happens with the screws the plate is going to be uh, adhering with it to the uh, fiberglass and I'll put some in the middle here so that way there'll be like uh, some kind of adhesion there cement for the plate to stay in place I'll put right there like that okay so now we're ready for the plate and the screws all right we got all four of the screws in there now now we can put together the uh, the other part that goes here and then we're done with this one but we still have one more side to do on the other side so stay tuned tighten them all up well perfect now we can let the uh, sealant cure and that's gonna get all nice and strong there so it won't come off any other way all right we're gonna put this goes through here and let's see if we have enough hands to do this job because it looks like it's gonna be like a three hand situation here but I think we could manage and then you just put it on there and you need two hands at least three will be better if you have it I think See, what I like about this one here, you can adjust it to your condition. Here we have a slight angle, but here we made it straight up and down. And you could all, always move it back, forward, and, and there's a lot of adjustments you could do to this. But uh, we'll, we'll adjust it later. But uh, at least it's there in place, ready uh, for the uh, flag pole for our next uh, sandbar adventure. We're going to put our flags up there. So now we're going to do the other side. And then we should be done after that all right here it is right there that's with the flagpole on ready to accept the uh flag we already have a uh a dragonfly tipping on the edge all the way in the tip i guess uh some perfect landing pad for dragonflies but here it is it's done now we're going to do the next side although bubble i think i think it's it's outward this way a little bit so we have to adjust it inward a little bit more let me see if we can do that we'll check it later All right, so we're done installing this side as well. And now all we need to do is just adjust it to make it straight like I like to see it. I like to see both flags straight up side to side. And that's all the adjustment. We can do the adjustment right here. You loosen this up and you can move it back and forward or side to side. So that's the next thing we got to do. And then we're done. I'm going to put up some flags and see how they look. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys this uh, flagpole that we bought I want to put the link in the description of this video it comes with everything you need it's a little bungee cord so you could tie down your your flagpole so it won't fly off when you're on the way and it brings the little clips so that you could put your flags through this here and this goes on on, on the flagpole so I want to put this one on the flagpole first and uh, you have to back off the screw a little bit so it separates then once it separates you can just slip it over the flagpole 
there you go and then you just tighten it back up again once you tighten it up it'll stay in place tighten it up as much as you want and you may have to adjust it and put it to the position you need for now I'm gonna leave it like around in this section here and that's good enough there okay so now I'm gonna get the flag and by the way this is our new flag we have here for this keys boating channel so we're gonna put this flag here what you do is you get the little clip that you took off and then closer and you're gonna slip it in to the grommet there and then this part you just press it in like that and put it on the clip you just put it one side and then the other there you go that stays in place there now we're gonna do repeat the same thing with the second clip but we need to know where the second clip is going to go so we need the flag extended you have to take the clip off just press it and it slides off from the little holes there right there put that on the side again take off the screw to unhook the other end of the clip take the screw up enough where it's not gonna get stuck okay now position of this clip has to be with this end of the flag here so we're going to put this one like around here a little difficult because this side is a little bit thicker there we go now we're going to tighten up a little bit and then we could position it exactly where we needed that Let's put the uh, clip on the grommet. There we go. And now, if you notice, it's a little bit too high, so we're going to bring it up a little bit. We need to be straightforward on it. A little bit more, and I think that's fine. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and clip it. Clip one side, and then the other. And there we go. Now, this is what we have here. I think it's perfect. Maybe this one a little bit down. If you want it straight here, bring it down a little bit. So this will be straight on, on the flagpole. All right. That's one. And uh, let's go ahead and put it on, the, on this one here. can't see it flying because right now not even the other flag here because there's no wind this is like zero winds at the moment but uh, since it's a one-sided flag a little bit of wind will make it fly nicely right now it's not gonna go anywhere but we like the way it looks so stay tuned I'm gonna put up the other one now all right guys we're completed we have both flag pulls up one on each side I think they look perfect the only thing we don't have any wind to be able to see them but uh, when we go to sandbar you'll be able to see them and these are our new flags we're gonna have them on sale pretty soon and here it was a little difficult because the radar arch we have is not really straight it has an angle to it and on the top it will be too high and then we wanted a little bit lower where we can reach and, and, and put it in place like we did there. Uh, that's why we bought these because you can adjust them to any angle, front and back, side to side, and, and, and it'll fit just about any condition on your boat. So if you like this video, don't forget to like. And thank you so much again for being part of Keys Boating Channel. Thank you so much and peace from the Keys. Right, I'm happy with the uh, the way the flagpole 
holders which actually they're rod holders but uh, we I'm using for flag poles I'm really happy the way they came out and uh, now we can just um, wrap the uh, flag around the pole and um, we're ready to go ahead and put it inside the cabin there and keep it safe and every time we go out we just grab them put them on on the on the holders and we're ready to go makes it real simple then the way I had it before we had to take off the flag put on the flag here we just slip the pole into the holder and that's it we're done so I'm really happy the way it came out it, it feels good there's really good materials and I highly recommend it at least for me they look awesome I like the way they feel and uh, not only that but it makes it so simple that every time you go out on your boat all you have to do is just grab the pole slip it in there put the little bungee cord around it for it to hold in place and that's it and you're done now is a great time to like and subscribe all you have to do is click on the subscribe button below it's free and you'll be part of the keys boating channel family thanks so much for your support